Hi, friends. I want you to look right in my eyes right now. You know exactly who I'm talking to. Hi. Shut the fuck up. Let people play games however they want to. Are you seriously roasting me for trying to play a story that is notoriously one of the most convoluted lore-based games in existence to try to figure out the lore and listen to the dialogue and watch the cutscenes and enjoy it? I swear to God. I swear to God. Not everybody wants to play games to be absolutely infuriated and in pain the entire time. I will absolutely suplex you the fuck out of my chat stop gatekeeping how people play games it's so fucking boring you're boring hey what is up youtube it's been a little while i think about 40 days now since i uploaded but i promise you i am making that return I'm, I'm trying to make this my return to the platform because you know there are a lot of topics that i want to talk about people have been messaging me asking me where i am what i'm doing i know i've given a couple updates on this channel and to be honest with you I, like i've fallen through every single time but I'm making it a point of like just like I'm serious I'm, I'm coming back to YouTube this is gonna be my first video back I'm gonna try and pump out two videos a day we'll see how that goes around work but anyway anyway I want to get back on topic because as you just saw in the opening of this video there has been some debate around easy and hard mode options in in whatever game you're playing and i find this debate to be so stupid now i am of the mind that if the developers put something in the game that's how it was intended to be played so for example dark souls is not intended to be played on easy mode the developers do not want you to play on easy mode and people that ask for easy mode in that game i think they completely missed the point however if there is a game like kingdom hearts which offers an easy and a hard mode and a normal mode then that is how the developers intended it they want you to be able to experience the game on an easy difficulty setting because maybe some players just want to understand the story whereas something like dark souls they want you to feel the intensity of the fights in that game so an easy mode just doesn't work this really baffles me this whole argument really baffles me because i really don't get why people can't just let others enjoy things as intended now as i said some games are intended to be easy and some are intended to be hard this ashley roboto girl i don't know who she is i've never seen her before but i came across this video because it's blown up on twitter it's got about a million views and she's completely right if she wants to play a game on easy mode and the game has easy mode leave her alone but this shit it got way out of control way 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 out of control and i'm going to read through some of the the twitter replies that are so nonsensical and stupid and we'll go through them together and we'll comment on them because some of the things that she's saying here are being completely taken out of context and i'll start with this one where ashley then goes on to follow up from her video and she says not only does it not matter what difficulty you play on Having lower difficulty mode is great for accessibility, so maybe just let people play how they want. And this tweet was completely taken out of context as far as I can see. I did not take this as her attacking disabled people, which is how some people have taken it. I didn't even take it as a mention to accessibility for disabled people. When she said that, I immediately thought of Street Fighter and I immediately thought of how they lowered the gap, the skill gap on Street Fighter V to make it more accessible for new players to come in and play the game because fighting games are notoriously difficult and hard for new players to get into and they just end up getting destroyed online. That's what I thought when she said this, but that's not how it was taken. So this person here, Kohaku Media says, difficulty does not equal accessibility. There is a blind Street Fighter V pro player who uses sound cues alone. There are players of games that have neurological and physical disabilities that have beaten the hardest games around. You are insulting those players with this stance. I don't know how what she said has been taken as an insult. I really do not understand how it was taken as an insult. I don't... <laughs> These people on Twitter, like, Twitter is just a cesspool of stupidity. And nothing she said there was insulting at all, but we'll continue with the with the tweets that came out from this. This person says, Why, please let me leave the training wheels on the bike, implying that um, Ashley saying that she wants to play on easy mode is somehow a bad thing. Like, if she wants to play a game on easy mode and the game comes with easy mode, I don't see what the problem is. I, again, that is, that is gatekeeping, basically. Like, you want someone to experience the game how they don't want to experience it. The developer purposefully put a mode in the game to let you play it that way so just let her enjoy the game this person says you shouldn't be calling people boring if you play a game on easy 
Easy mode in games isn't fun at all. It's the definition of boring without any kind of challenge. Well, that is subjective. That is totally subjective. That is what you believe. That is what you feel. There have been times where I only want to experience the story of a game. I don't want to be caught up in the madness of the gameplay. And I've played it on easy mode. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you just want to experience a story. There is really nothing wrong with that. If you find it boring, by all means, up the difficulty, play the game, how it makes you happy. How Whatever makes you happy, do that. But if what makes her happy is playing the game on easy mode, why are people jumping down her throat? Using accessibility as a defense for easy mode reeks of ableism, not gonna lie. If you wanna help us disabled people, give us the tools to play on any difficulty. Don't just go, oh, here's an accessible easy mode cause for the crip. Able-bodied people love white knighting us while also putting us down. I don't think she was talking about disabled people. I don't know how people got that from this. I don't understand how people are so in their feelings that they got this from what she said. When she said accessibility, I literally think she was talking about an entry point and that a lot of games, like I said, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, fighting games especially are very hard for newbies to get into. So they lower the skill gap. How do they do that? They make combos easier. They make some characters have a very high damage output for very, very little work. Um, a great example of this is Kotal Khan in Mortal Kombat. He's not the most execution heavy character, but he does a ton of damage. Um, the same goes for Abigail in Street Fighter V. It's not an execution heavy character, does a ton of damage. That's what she's talking about in terms of accessibility. She's not talking about accessible for disabled people. Like, uh, the way people get in their feelings is so bizarre to me. So bizarre. But it continues, and, and this exchange really made me laugh. So this person says, okay, but what is the issue with having easy mode as an option? Like, there literally isn't an issue, which I completely agree with. If the game comes packaged with easy mode, there is no issue there. That is what the developers intended. Then this person says, many games designers compromise by adding any difficulty mode. There are a lot of games that rely on dynamic difficulty, which where it is the same for everybody, but it gives you tools that you can use to your advantage slash disadvantage. Adding any difficulty mode would be detrimental. Now he's obviously talking about the Souls games, where yes, adding a difficulty mode would be detrimental because that is not how the game is intended. But clearly, we're not talking about Souls here. Ashley is talking about Kingdom Hearts. That's the game she's talking about. So I really don't understand what the issue is here. The, the developers shipped it with that in mind. Then Kirsty says, detrimental, Bro, it's a video game. The existence of easy mode isn't stopping you from playing on hard mode. Again, completely right. If the game comes with easy mode, what's stopping you from playing hard? Then he says it is detrimental if the idea behind the game design is to have one particular difficulty. For example, if there's a steep difficulty curve that players have to overcome to understand how the game works. Sekiro is a great example of that, but nobody's arguing that. Nobody's arguing that. I don't think Ashley is going to argue with the developers to add an easy mode. If she is, then she is also in the wrong, but she's not talking about a game that doesn't have an easy mode in it. She's talking about a game that does have an easy mode in it. And then obviously because this is about Kingdom Hearts, this person says, I beat Kingdom Hearts 1 in my teens on the PS1. You are struggling with it. Maybe Candy Crush or Hello Kitty Island Adventures more your speed. Don't shame the community because your skill set is low. Either improve or, well, as you put it, STFU. So this is ridiculous. Like Ashley wants to play the game how she wants to play it. Now in her video, she said that she would ban people for or suplex them out of her chat for trying to gatekeep difficulty on games. Now, I don't think she should do that either. Personally, if you have a public chat, let people say what they want. Let them talk all the crap they want. As long as you're having a good time playing the game how you want to play it, let them sit there and be keyboard warriors and just talk as much crap as they want. But this person, the root of truth, like they are literally talking out of their ass. Do you want a medal for completing Kingdom Hearts 1 in your teens? Just because you can complete that game, it's not a life achievement, mate. It made you happy to beat that game, maybe on a hard difficulty, but if someone else doesn't want to experience the game in that fashion, why do you have to talk to them? Why do you have to talk down to them and say, go play Candy Crush or Hello Kitty? I don't get, I don't get this whole mentality. I don't get what is wrong with people. Just as this guy can say this about this girl, and say, oh, I beat Kingdom Hearts 1 in my teens. I could turn around to him and say, oh, you know, my little cousin who's nine years old can kick your ass on Virtua Fire. Doesn't mean anything. Everyone's good at certain things and everyone's bad at certain things. <laughs> you, you don't get an achievement for beating a game in your teens. Loads of people have done that, mate. And loads of people have been on easy mode and had just as good a time as you. Then this person says, please don't use accessibility as a fallback when anyone says anything about difficulty being a narrative device. It doesn't matter how easy a game is, if it's not designed with the colorblind and hard of seeing, hearing in mind. Accessibility is more than just difficulty mode. Again, she's not talking to disabled people. I think I'm fairly certain she's just talking about an entry point for people where games can be too hard 
to begin with and she just wants to experience the lore of the game. Really don't think she's talking about disabled people here. I find it bizarre that that's what people have taken away from it, but I could be wrong. Maybe she can clarify. Maybe she did and I didn't see it. And then finally, someone, I found someone with some common sense in the Twitter replies and they said, accessibility doesn't just mean for people that suffer from disabilities. It's also about how easier difficulties can allow audiences to play a game the way they prefer or is convenient for them. If Ashley is having fun on easy mode, then the mode is valid. And claps all around, Lawrence the Zero has basically solved the riddle. Like I don't know how it was hard for anyone to get that. It was such a basic and easy to understand comment. Now I don't know what Ashley's other views on things are. I don't know if she ever advocated for easy mode to be in all games. I'm sure she has the brains to understand that not all games are designed with easy mode in mind. But for games that are designed with easy mode in mind, all of these people that are on her back telling her to play a game on difficulty as if it's some sort of achievement like you went to war. It's just a video game mate. Yes, I'm a gamer. Yes, I enjoy my time on video games. It's not an achievement to beat a game on hard mode. I mean, you might feel some sort of personal satisfaction, but in the grand scheme of things, no one cares that you beat Dark Souls. No one cares that you beat Kingdom Hearts on proud mode. Yeah, you might feel good about it, but in the grand scheme of things, it don't matter. And I don't really have too much else to say about that. I just find this weird. Just let people do things that they wanna do. They wanna enjoy the game on easy mode, let them play on easy mode. For Christ's sake, people, come on.